Franker, continuing, Douglas Gerard. Where we left off, Douglas went in to question a man that, you know, might know or shed some light on the dramatic episodes that have been happening to him. After speaking with this man for a few seconds, this man said something about Fred being behind it all. So, he hunted down Fred, and that's where we are in Douglas Gerard. Remember, Douglas Gerard and SamsonPWillings.com. All information. Website. Yes. Without further ado, Douglas Gerard, Chapter 20, Green Eye Section. Grandfather, Son, Grandson, Gerard Trinity. Mm. I see you still have the limo. <coughs> Until we get to the house, son, I thought since we paid for it, might as well use it. Douglas lightened up the tension in the air. He looked to Fred while they rode in the limo. Fred grabbed a glass from the minibar and poured a drink. And then Fred, Fred retrieved another glass. Do you want a drink? No, I think I have an at had enough today I got to thinking I might just give it up and that might not be a, get, a bad idea maybe I will join you on that thought after this one Fred slammed back the contents of the glass then he slammed the glass down on the bar as his face contorted from the whiskey after his face returned to its original state he glared back to Douglas <clears throat> his vision blurred a little while the alcohol took hold so what did you and Mr. Dover have to talk about not much I don't want to get into it here let's wait until we get inside Douglas replied as the limo pulled up in front of the house the driver rolled down the divider after the vehicle came to rest Fred opened the door and stepped out of the car while Douglas handed a 20 to the driver. Before Douglas exited the vehicle, he expressed his gratitude and verbalized that they wouldn't be needing the driver's assistance anymore. Fred, come on, let's get you inside. Son, you can call my dad. I'm not your son right now. You're my son. Douglas opened up a little before catching what he said. He grabbed Fred as Fred started to slouch down towards the ground. Fred flung his arms wildly through the air when he felt his son's grip around him. After the little episode, he stood straight up again. What the hell do you mean by you're not my son? Let's go inside, Fred. I will tell you everything I know. All right, then you will explain everything, and so will you. Doug Douglas guided Fred through the front lawn and to the front door. Once they reached the door to the house, he opened up the door and directed Fred into the three-bedroom house. He followed shortly after Fred, closing the door behind him. When they were both inside, they walked into the front room and sat down, Fred on the couch, and Douglas in the lazy boy so what about this son thing first things first what did Dover mean by he hoped you'd like the payment for your help he is just trying to get under your skin mess with your head I see it all the time those people having nothing better to do well he is doing a good job of it but I don't think it is just that. He said you were the one behind this all, so spill it. Douglas sat on the edge of his seat and awaited 
Fred's drunken response as he sat there a, a look of intense rage came over his face what the hell is wrong with my son he wouldn't have learned this from me he contemplated right before Fred's answer fine you want to know that is why we are here old man if I tell you you tell me about your son bit yes I will tell you everything like I promised Fred took in a deep breath to hold back the liquor that he had ingested. Not only that, but he was nervous to how Douglas would react to what he had to say. What if it was taken the wrong way? Would his son ever forgive him? He went over the many questions as he let out the breath in a sigh. Did you ever wonder how? I could help you get this house or that luxury car that is in a heap at the station. Damn it! Stop stalling and just tell me. Okay, okay. I helped Mr. Dover with some information. You know, and a little heads up here and there. So, that to answer your question, yes, I did like the payment. It helped you. Douglas angrily stood up from his seat while he stood there as he steamed over what Fred had disclosed. He contemplated attacking Fred where he sat. What would that would show him? Discipline him like the kid he was. Before he acted on his impulse, he stopped himself. So, you're telling me that you are the reason my grandson's wife was killed. I didn't think that would happen. Wait, grandson's wife? I am your father, son, and I would have never had taught you that, Douglas replied to Fred's confusion. After he finally revealed the truth to Fred, Fred stood up and stepped to him. Just as Fred approached him, a shot rang out. When he viewed to see where it came from, Fred fell lifelessly to the living room floor. He began to rush to Fred's aid. Before he took his second step, two more shots ripped through the front room window, dropping him where he stood. Son! Son! Douglas yelled out with all he could muster. He waited a second, but all that remained was silence. He scooted across the floor with the last bit of energy he had left. As he finally reached Fred's lifeless body, he closed Fred's eyelids. It is all over now, Douglas quietly remarked as he remembered what Dover had stated. It is not over, Sergeant, but it will be soon. Come through with what he says. He finished his final thought while he drifted in into the darkness of death again. And that was chapter 20, Doug the Gerard Trinity. Remember, Douglas Gerard and Samson P. Willings to get all your information on Douglas Gerard and his tell of craziness. Thank you, and have a good day.